there's the complacent and naive generation. Okay, I'm trying to think back and thinking who lost our freedom for us, or who almost lost our freedoms. Hmm. <laughs> and that might be the baby boomers. And it might be a little bit the World War II generation. But I'm saying looking at it right now, because I mean, life was going along pretty good with most of the World War II generation. So that's why I'm placing the blame on the baby boomers. Because see, these kids, and they didn't have to really fight for the freedom on their soil. <clears throat> they were either, you know, some of the people were too small to remember the war, and others were born after the war. So they, I mean, aside from like the nuclear bomb scares and stuff in the 50s, which once again, a lot of them would be too young to remember. And then there's Vietnam, but that was on other foreign soil. So these are people, a whole generation, that didn't have to really fight for freedom for their country on their own soil. So I believe they sort of fell into the thinking of, you know, oh, the Great War is over. You know, after World War I, they're like, this was the war to end all wars, and so now we're just going to relax. So I think that's what happened after World War II. It was also another war to end all wars, and everybody just sort of let civilization go on autopilot. And, um, and then, because, I mean, whenever I was a kid growing up, it seemed like nobody really worried too much about politics, you know? They took America for granted. They're like, ah, freedom's always going to be here, America's always going to be here, goodness and righteousness and the just American way is always going to prevail, everything's going to be great. And then, look where we are today. All the while, they had been thinking how everything was going to great, be great and how America was always going to be free, you know? America not be free? What? You know, people just took America for granted. And then this allowed the left to really sneak in and infiltrate and infect the society in America. And then the infection really came out, you know, in the last 10 years. And this is where we are. We're at a place where so many institutions are crumbling because there's just rampant discrimination based on the political correctness and we very nearly lost our country because we weren't paying attention. So, do you think it was the baby boomers' fault? People who were just too confident that America would always be here, always be strong, and always be the best. Do you think overconfidence is what has brought us to a point where we almost lost our country? Comment below. I said this is a big issue. And we got to realize, you know, I said freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Never. I mean, even America could fall. Any country can fall. So we always must be vigilant and we must fight to keep everything equal and keep our constitution going. And we have to fight for it because there's people, there always are people who want to destroy our way of life and who want to be dictators. That's just life. That is life. And we cannot let them do it. So, comment below. Do you think the baby boomers are responsible? Are the people, you know, born in the late 30s and 40s, are they responsible for lulling us into uh, a safe feeling of safety and American invincibleness? Are they? Or do you think there's another reason why America and Americans were just caught napping while the communists and socialists were infiltrating all our schools and ranks, schools and businesses and medical and hospitals and government? What do you think happened? Okay. Comment below. And let freedom ring.